Hey YouTube, John here again. My final part on enhancing eyes in Photoshop CS5. On the previous tutorials I've showed you how to whiten eyes, sharpen eye details and create contrast. In this video, well I'll leave it to 100%, I'm going to show you how to darken these edges and put lights in the back of the eyes to really brighten up this part of the eye. Now, to be honest, this image doesn't need the eyes really enhancing, not in my eyes anyway, but I'm going to use this image because it's such a nice shot of a set of eyes and it's the perfect image to show you. So if we press the Q key and enter quick mask mode, painting in black, in fact let me press the D key to reset the brushes, if I just quickly, the mask doesn't have to be, per it doesn't have to be perfect, this you can always add a mask and come and tweak it later on. Something like that. Hello, over to the other eye. Mm -hmm -hmm. I'm only using a mouse by the way. So I'm not using my Wacom tablet. I don't know why I should be, but anyway, I'll just use the mouse. Been meaning to do this video for a couple of days and been too busy. Anyway, I'll just back up a little bit to 25%, no 50% and that's it, you're done. Thank you very much for watching. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> Press the Q key to exit quick mass mode and then we've got everything selected but the eyes. So if we select inverse, command J on a Mac, control J on a PC, turn the background layer off and we've got our selection. This is where now you can add a mask if you like and then go tweak the selection. But for this video, I'm not going to bother. I'll just name the eyes. Now, change the blend mode from normal to screen. Now, when I do this, it's going to look a real funky, but just stay with me. There you go. Turn on the lights in the back of the eyes. I'm going to turn the opacity down to about 70%. Now, that's way too intense, but... I'm going to do everything slightly more intense for the video so it really shows up on YouTube when you're watching it. So if I now make a copy of that, Command J on a Mac, Control J on a PC, we've now doubled the intensity. But if I now change this blend mode to good old soft light, which I do in my previous tutorials, we'll get loads of contrast. So if you hold your Shift key and click on the eyes underneath, and then Command G on a Mac, Control G on a PC, we should get a group. So we can have the overall before and after. Look at that, just a nice boost of the eyes. Now, if I turn the contrast off, we've got the lights in the eyes and then the good old soft light. Just add, add in that bit of contrast. So, all well and good. A bit, a bit too intense for my light, but I'll leave it like that for the video. So next next thing is to darken these edges here just to finish the eyes off so if we create a new layer name it what you like but i'm just going to name it burn change the blend mode to good old soft light not hard light good old soft light turn the opacity down on your brush to about 60 70 percent it's up to you to taste zoom in i'm gonna press my eye key and select a color around the eyes, something like that. Then what I usually do when I've done that is also darken it just a shade as well. There you go. Make a nice small brush. What you can do with this is if you, if you mess up, what you do is you add a layer mask and then you click on the, turn the opacity up, paint in black, D, B, X. Now if you paint in black, what you can do is you can move from the middle of the eye and come out just to thin the line and use the edge of your brush like that and it'll just thin the line out. What you've just done. 
and there you go. So if we go, probably a little bit subtle for the video, but let's put that into the eye group and we go overall before and after. Before, slightly rushed obviously, but overall before and after. Let's back up and evaluate the image. I mean, to be honest, it's way too intense, is that? I'd probably do something like... Something like that. So if we look away and look back, that looks great. But again, turn the opacity right up. Before and after. Thank you very much for watching. This concludes my part on Enhancing Eyes and my take on it. There's plenty of other ways. This is how I do it. To be honest, I don't do it that often. You should get the light in the eyes, when, especially when you're doing studio shots and stuff like that. You should try get the light. I mean, let's just delete that now, get away. There's light in those eyes anyway, to be honest. That's that's out of the camera, so I think I did do a little bit of uh, blemish removal and, and a bit of black, just to darken the background, but that's pretty much out of the camera. No dodging and burning on those eyes. Thanks very much for watching. Please leave a thumbs up or leave a comment or subscribe. Thank you.